Okay, so here I am at work. I was about to climb up this ladder. And as I was getting ready to climb up, I looked down, I almost stepped on a lizard. Now, I live out here in the desert, and there are lizards everywhere, and I've stepped on a few, because they just, they're not very afraid of people. And, um, anyway, this lizard, it didn't move, and I reached down and checked it out, and it happens to be dead. But that's not the, the main thing, is it feels like it's been mummified. It is, it weighs nothing, it is hollow. When I shake it, I can hear stuff rattling around inside, and it, you know, it looks just like a live lizard, but it is dry, it is hollow, and it weighs nothing. You can barely even feel the weight of it. So, just thought I'd show that to you. I'm thinking I might take it inside and check it out and see what's inside it. All right. So I brought the lizard inside and I'm going to cut it open and just see what I can find inside it. But first I wanted to show you just exactly how light this lizard is. Here's my digital scale. I'll put the lizard on. And it weighs one tenth of an ounce. Just to give you something to compare that to. Here's a pen for writing. The pen weighs eight tenths of an ounce. So this writing pen weighs eight times more than this lizard. Alright, so I'm going to set the camera up and with my wife's fancy X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut open this lizard and see what I can find inside. Okay, so here's my setup. I'm going to move aside the scale and I will center the lizard and I'll get zoomed in real nice so you can see as much of the lizard as I can show you. That looks pretty good right there. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'll take the X-Acto knife and the best way to do this, I believe, will be to flip it over and just open up the abdomen of the lizard and I am I can't stress to you how light this is. It feels lighter than styrofoam. And I just want to see I I just want to see what's inside. So here we go. Trying to get a good angle for you. And it's very hard. <laughs> There we go. The skin does not really want to be cut. And this is a pretty sharp X-Acto knife. There we go. All right. All right. So I've just... basically split it down the middle. so stiff actually it feels like leather which is not surprising um, trying to decide the best way to get into it it's cut all the way through it does not want to it's not very oh there we go oh yeah I see what I'm gonna do I'm going to cut across here so we can fold it open. It's very durable. It, feel, it feels pretty much like leather, which I guess isn't a surprise. I'm going to open it up. It's surprisingly difficult to, to cut. And when I open it, oh, well, I guess it's about what you would expect. I'm going to hold it up to the camera and get it really clear. Or I'll, I'll flip the camera around and turn it on to it. Oh, wow. 
I can see um, I can see the spinal column. I and I can't see. I have to get reading glasses. So hang on. Here's a really clear view down inside. Here, if you look, you can see the spinal column running down the middle, and it's got these little pellets that are inside. Not really sure. Okay, so you can see the spinal column running down the middle with all the ribs on it and you can see right here there are these little pellet type things right there and there I'm going to put the camera down pull those out and then I'll pick the camera back up alright so if you look inside you can see the spinal column is still intact you can see the ribs to either side of it and I pulled out these three and I pulled out these three little pellets and I'm going to zoom in on them for you if you can see they are um, they look like insect larvae they look like little um, you know caterpillars or um, the pupa they have gosh I'm getting as close as I can they have little you know ridges on them the way a uh, pupa does where the, that a moth or a butterfly comes out of so clearly when this lizard died something laid its its eggs inside and they turned into these little larvae they were gonna hatch and come out I don't know how this thing got so dehydrated but it's extremely light it's got some sort of parasite or some sort of larva inside it and um, I think it's pretty interesting. Anyway, hope you find this interesting. Have a good day. He's going to fall. Why don't you put the door down? Yeah. Well, I can't shoot him out. This way we can show them out. It does not want to go. I don't think it'll hurt anything being in the garage.